Welcome to Stuff on Saturday. I'm Casey. I'm Anime. And today we're doing a review of A Fisherman's Quest, A Fisherman's Tale, on the quest. We played it inside because it's been raining. A lot. Um, so as you may know, A Fisherman's Tale is a game you can purchase on Steam VR. It's not a game you can purchase on the quest. So to play this game, we used an application called Virtual's Desktop to play a Steam VR game. Now, how was your experience playing a Steam VR game on the Quest? Not that different. Really? Yeah. Did you like the game? Yeah. Why? Because it was trippy. Yes, very trippy. So the game is about this wooden man mm -hmm. who does this routine every single day. Yes. He made a miniature building of his own building. Yeah, the building. But then it came to life. Mm, yes. So in the game, you are <laughs> in like... Have you ever looked in a mirror? While and looking that, in a mirror. While looking in a mirror. While looking, while looking in, in the same mirror. Back into that mirror. So it's a lot like that. Yeah. So you have this, as she said, you have this miniature version of the building you're in. And then you're in a building. And then outside of that building, there's a larger scale. And outside of that building, there's a larger scale. And in the small scale that is in front of you, there's a little scale. Mm -hmm. Like an even smaller scale. So you can like take a fork like, and then put it in the tiny room. And you'll have a huge yeah. fork coming out. What was your favorite part about the game? I think my favorite part of the game was the crab. He was in uh, the puppet's favorite shell. And it's super funny because he's like talking. This shell was used as a sort of tutorial on how to use like the smaller things and turn them and use them in your... No, 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 you make the bigger things turn smaller. Kinda. Yeah. Because you had to like take a hat, bring it up to the big person, and then look down and take the tiny one out from the big tiny thing. You did that? The way I took it was I just opened the cabinet, went back to the model, and then took it out of the model house. Why? Because it was easier that way. Why can't you just go like this and then just take it out I of mean, your own hand? As you can see, there are several different ways to go through this game. One of my favorite parts was when you have to build, you have to build a model um, boat. Oh yeah. So the room is flooded and you have to use this crane to get certain pieces. but. The thing is, is that you have to use this crane to get like pieces for your model boat. And f finding a way to solve this puzzle was kind of hard, honestly. Um, this game is a lot of thinking out of the box. Um, literally thinking out of your box. Or maybe in your smaller box that you have in your box. So it's technically thinking in the box and out of the box. And also inside your own box. So yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the video. And I tilted my head. And it was just the fish going. <laughs> <laughs> um, what she's referring to is. In a part of the story. There was a fish. That you had to climb into his mouth. Yeah. He's just a big bus. <laughs> so behind the story of this wooden puppet, there was a fisherman who was out at sea and he got uh, caught up in a storm. So when you are a wooden doll in the story, you have the ability to super stretch your arms. <laughs> super stretch your arms, you know, like super guy go super straight. Uh, you can extend your arm a little further. Like with, two feet? Yeah, with your side buttons. And I think that was a really nice feature in the game to, if you specifically couldn't reach something or you didn't want to bend down, it was... <laughs> she didn't want to bend down. I'm too short to... Reach it. <laughs> reach anything. Um, but yeah, that was a really cool feature that I liked. 
I could find I found out that I really liked it when I was the fisherman, the human man, and I couldn't extend his arms anymore. And I was like, why can't I think this way? I honestly forgot about it like half of the time. Really? Yeah, so I'm just like up like on a stool trying to get it. <laughs> but yeah, I really I I don't think I've ever seen a game like this. Um especially in VR. Uh, the VR experience with this through... made it even more trippy. <laughs> yeah. So I think that using the um, virtual desktop to play this game, I don't think there was much difference as it would have been when it came to playing it um, through the Quest uh, provided store. So since this game isn't available on the Oculus Quest store, we can't really do a comparison about it. That's why we got a game called Apex Construct. On both the Steam VR and the Oculus Quest store. We will be pay- We'll <laughs> both be playing the Steam version and the Quest version on the, on qu- the Quest. There you go, yeah. Um and as we're doing now, we are going to sit down and compare and talk about uh, our personal um, experiences with each of the versions. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like a real. I what? feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna look so cool. It's gonna be so cool. And then once you go into like a different version of it, it's not gonna be so cool. Well, I guess we kind of have to find that out by comparing it. You yeah. know. Coming back to the fisherman's tale, um, what would you rate it? For me, I'd rate it about 8 out of 10 fishing boats. Mm. Why? Well, I'd say that because it's a really good game. It like brings back how like once it brings back how you realize virtual reality is just so cool. Yeah. But it was short. And I wish it was longer. It took us about three hours to play the entire game. It did. And it's, yeah. And it's such a unique experience. Um, I would, I would rate it personally, probably a nine out of 10 fishing boats. (laughs) I thought the art was super adorable, honestly. The Uh, style of the game. was nice. But like when you got into the real person, the yeah, hands the, 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 the hands he looked scared. sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looked a bit sick. Yeah. Um, You're like, ew. <laughs> ew, is this what is this what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> Me looking into the mirror. <laughs> but yeah. So I would really recommend you playing this game if you have virtual desktop or if you have a headset that works with Steam VR. It was a really, really great game. And I'm looking forward to the next game, um, Apex. Construct. Yeah, Apex Construct. But I'm still I still wanna finish um Shadow Point. Oh you yeah. just you just gotta wait till it gets dry. I wish that there was a game out there that was meant for the quest. It was meant for walking around and it was able to work really well with the format, like what we're trying to do. Please comment if you know any games that are like that or any games that might be like that. You know, we really like making these videos. Mm -hmm. We like showing content that we like to make and that you like. To watch. We hope you like to watch. From the last videos. We think you might like them. Do you like them? Please tell us. <laughs> Please tell us. from <laughs> lonely. <laughs> Maybe give us a like to let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Comment. You know, subscribing. <laughs> Maybe subscribe, you know, that me one like. <laughs> Each like is less lonely than <laughs> Well, thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.